So when you're in an accident, sometimes it is so hard to know what steps you should take first. If you're looking for the right team to take care of you, well, Foreman and Associates might be just the right fit. Joining me now with more on everything they have to offer is Larry Foreman. First time here at Great Day Live. Welcome, Larry. Thank you for having me. You How know, are you? It's a, it's a big time here today. We're, we're excited to have you and we've seen the commercials. We've heard about you, but talk a little bit more for people so they understand like how long you've been in business and and why that's important to you. Sure. Um, so I've been in business for just over a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, I started out right after law school. I hung up my own shingle and I've been doing mostly criminal work with a primarily, uh, primary specialization in DUIs in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that's really where I got my name. I, I love to litigate cases, which is so rare these days, I've noticed. So I decided to kind of carve a niche for myself and kind of yeah. create this, this brand out of nothing. And the brand was and still is the DUI guy. And now the natural transition into car accidents, which I realize there's a market with all these big gurus, you know, the Isaacs and the Morgans of the world, but there is no real niche for individuals who are seeking the same type of representation, mm -hmm. but don't want to go through the, the gears of the machine, if you will. Yeah. So being like a small boutique, we are able to provide a quality, great service to individuals who are you know, maybe not so keen on the big, big machine firms. Or worried they're gonna get lost in it, right? Like how important is my case? What about me too, you know? Well, you mentioned kind of your, your, your background there. As a former trial attorney, how does that benefit and kind of aid you? And how do you like let people know, hey, having this background is gonna help you in the long run? So litigators get much better results for people. Mm -hmm. And it's the simple reason of in the criminal realm and in the civil realm. In the criminal realm, prosecutors, when they know that a trial attorney is coming on the case, there are more apt to either settle mm -hmm. because they know, especially if the case is not strong, if the case is strong, it's gonna go to trial no matter what yeah. for the prosecution. But the same applies to the civil realm with insurance companies. When an insurance company knows that certain firms do not go to trial and they settle everything that comes their way, they have no reason to bring their settlement offer up. Right. They keep it low because they know eventually they're it's gonna, only a question. They're gonna take this. It's a and question of time. Move on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. So you, the ins and outs. Why, why would you want to hire a firm that does that? that? You why? know. Uh, tell us about like the no fee guarantee. What is that? The no fee guarantee is very simple. You don't pay unless we get paid. So if we get paid from the insurance company, the lawyers take a cut, we take mm -hmm. a cut, and um, the client gets the rest. Right. But if we are unable to get a settlement, let's say there's a question of liability, you know, let's say the insurance company claims that the client was the one at fault for the accident, for example, yeah. and they don't want to pay, and they're saying zero dollars, and let's say we go to litigation, and we even maybe set the case for trial, and we try the case, and the jury says, no, liability is on you, sorry, zero dollars and zero cents. All the time that we have spent in the case, yeah. that's just our loss. The client, unfortunately, still ends up with nothing, but we don't charge gotcha. for the work that we have done. Right. So since you're now focused on being the car crash guy, what main tips would you, if you could name three things, if you're involved in a car accident, and I know there's so much like going on, you wanna make sure everybody's safe, do we need to go to the hospital, but what do you need to like mentally checklist um, if you're in that situation? So number one, make sure that if you are injured or feeling injured or in, in pain in any way, shape or form, your primary concern should not be about your vehicle. I know yeah. vehicles cost a lot of money and they can be a total drag. Yeah. But you have to focus because you only get one human body. Right. And if you don't take care of that body, you are in for some trouble. So make sure if you're feeling hurt, do not move, do not get out of the car, wait for, call 911 if you're able, or have mm -hmm. someone else call 911 if you're unable, and make sure that you get the proper treatment. Okay. That's number one. Number two, if you are able to walk around, and you are able to get out of the car, if the inj there are no injuries or they're not so severe, maybe it's a headache or something like that, um, Make sure to take photos of everything. 
because sometimes, especially post COVID, mm -hmm. no offense to LMPD, but I have seen, uh, they, they fail to take photos mm -hmm. of, of the simple scene of the accident. You can fix that gap by taking photos of your vehicle, the other vehicle, the scene. One thing that people most often forget to take photos of is the road, mm. you know, because uh, the marks on the road can indicate who was the one breaking or not breaking when they should have or something like that. So photos are gonna be able to allow you to build the case with the insurance company. Same with point number one with right. the injuries. And number three, most importantly, if you are able, make sure to get the other person's contact information. Usually that will be in the police report, mm -hmm. but sometimes police are not called to the scene, especially in the minor fender bender. And once that person leaves, you're out of luck. You're out of luck. <laughs> you you're sure not going to find them. You sure are. All great tips there. Larry, great to meet you. Thanks Likewise. for stopping by. Uh, for more information, if you want to reach out to Larry, just go to thecarcrashguy.com.